Collins in Jera's weekends are usually spent on the rugby pitch, either within the country playing for his club Mwamba FC or abroad representing Kenya in the World 7 Series. We caught up with him running some errands in one of the few weekends when he is free, away from a sport which has been part of his life for 13 years. So in general, where did your rugby journey begin? My rugby journey began in 2001, when I was still in high school, in Viga High School. And uh, I think my brother is the one, Humphrey, he was the one who made me start playing rugby because he was playing rugby before. Injera was in high school in Form 1 and was interested in football. But the exploits of his elder brother, Humphrey Kayange, who was a member of the Kenya rugby team at the time, influenced him to try out the game played with an oval ball. Actually, I was a, I was a very good goalkeeper <laughs> and a striker at the same time. So when I, when I joined uh, high school, I remember when I went to the, I think I'll call it like the trials you know, for the school team, there were so many of us. And some of us didn't get a chance to, to showcase our, our skills. So I think I looked the, on the other side of the pitch and I saw some few guys playing with a the, with the rugby ball. Then I just decided to go and join them and that's how I started playing rugby. Injera was a natural on the pitch and he was soon selected into the school team for his pace and resolute defense. He finished high school in 2004 and joined Ulinzi Rugby Club where Kayange was. The club was disbanded and he joined Mwamba in 2006. Injera was playing for Mwamba's second team in the second tier league, the Eric Shelley, and it came as a pleasant surprise when he earned a call up into the National Rugby 15's team that had been invited to South Africa to play Southern Spears franchise. I was very excited. Uh, I didn't have a passport. So definitely the union helped me get a passport. I get the, I got the yellow fever, yellow fever certificate. And definitely boarding a plane for the first time, it was, it was quite an exciting moment for me. I remember I didn't even sleep the whole journey. I, 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 I was seeing guys sleeping and I was wondering, why are they sleeping? And it's, it's something exciting for me. A year later in 2007, Injera was selected for the National Sevens team. He was said to fill the big shoes left by two explosive wingers, Alan Makaka, who was labeled the fastest man in East Africa, and the mercurial Oscar Osir, a hard tackler and equally fast. Injera had both qualities. I remember getting the ball at the wing. Uh, that time I had bought my, my white boots, <laughs> I had bought my white boots and I, I getting, yeah, getting the ball at the wing, um, I had from the side, from the touchline, uh, Benjamin Ayimba was the coach then, Benjamin Ayimba kept uh, screaming and telling me, go, go around him, go around him. A new rugby seven star had been born. In the 2008-2009 season, Kenya reached their first ever cup final at the World Seven Series as Injera became the top try scorer, crossing the whitewash 42 times, but missed out on the overall World Sevens Player of the Year title. A year later, at the Sevens Rugby World Cup in Dubai, Injera scored the final try as Kenya stunned defending champions Fiji in the quarters. Those final moments of that epic victory are forever etched in his memory. We didn't go in saying we need to win this game. We didn't go in saying that uh, we really want to beat Fiji. We went in. We decided to enjoy the game and we said whatever works for you, you do it, I'm going to back you. That's what we were telling each other. Just do it, I'm going to back you up. Oh yes it is, oh yes it is and it's away and the score is by Collins in Jira. The celebrations can be rampant now. Kenya lost to Argentina in the semis but it elevated in Jira and his teammates to celebrity status. In the following seasons, Kenya's performance dipped considerably and the technical bench was revamped twice with Micho Chola succeeding Benjamin Ayimba. Ochola lasted only a season before he was shown the door as well. Mike Friday, the first foreign coach at the helm of the Kenya Sevens team, injected a new spirit into the squad. Kenya made history once again, reaching the main cup final of the Wellington Sevens in 2013, beating hosts New Zealand at their home turf. The victory is still fresh in Injera's mind. I actually remember it very well. Ripped the ball from Lam. Managed to shrug off uh, Thomas Ikama was covering, then offloaded the ball to Oscar Uma. And I, I think when Oscar was headed to the trial, I couldn't believe that we are going to win this game. I actually didn't be, it, it, it had actually hit me that we are actually going to win against New Zealand in their, in their home turf. Kenya will play the final in Wellington 2030. If you thought Ninjera loves rugby, then his family comes before rugby. We had to halt the interview briefly as he prepared breakfast for his wife and daughter. Mostly on Saturdays when I'm around, I, 
I always make a breakfast. I like making omelette with three eggs. Maybe sangine or chloe, one, mamake, maybe one. Unique, uh, there's no unique element, but sometimes I put I put milk when I'm when I'm whipping the, the eggs. Make yes? a mingi. Make a mingi. Mm. Aja nda punguza yu ingine. Sindio. Injera has a degree in communications from Daystar University, but is keen on improving his culinary skills. Probably, I would, be, I would have been a chef. Or, like I said, I would be maybe a rally driver. Injera has missed the past three rounds of the World 7 Series, but he denies claims that he has abandoned the Kenya 7's team, which has been plagued by controversies, resignations and poor performance. Ahmed! For me, I love, I love playing the sport. So it's, it's, it's a passion that I think no one can take it away from me. I love playing, I love playing rugby. That's, that's a fact. So what I do, I just try and concentrate on the playing of rugby. And the other things, I'm sure they'll sort themselves out, they'll, they'll fall into place. Injera's absence from the Kenya 7's team is glaring, especially when he manages such amazing fits. So, what goes through your mind when, uh, when you get the ball? Oh, I get the ball. Uh, actually, all I want to do is, is go forward. Like, for, in this case, I think I got the ball on the wing. And uh, just going around the guy, I realized that I had, I had, I had really cornered myself. I think all, all that was left is just go through the guy. Like they had, I had fended him then, those guys were chasing me, then this guy coming across. I guess I had to go, to go over him. The Kenya 7's future seems uncertain for now. And with the Olympics in Brazil looming large, the onus is now on the Kenya Rugby Union to restore the sport's lost glory. This is likely to restore the confidence of Injera and the stalwarts to return and inspire the new players to greater heights. Bernard Dong for Newsmakers.